Hey yo guys, how's it going? It's Paleo Draw here and it's time for another Prehistoric Animal of the Month. This month's animal is Utyranus and it was suggested by BlessXO. Definitely check out our channel, she does a bunch of live streams and she plays games like GTA and Call of Duty Vanguard. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Utyranus was a large tyrannosaur that was discovered in the Yixian Formation of China by paleontologist Zhu Xing. Xing was kind of like a rock star of paleontology. He had named more dinosaurs than any other living paleontologist. He also named Eutyrhinus aptly to mean feathered tyrant, in a mixed translation of both Mandarin and Latin. Articles during its time of discovery claimed that it was the first feathered tyrannosaur, but Delong, a much smaller dinosaur, holds that title, although both were discovered in the Yix information. Now Eutyrhinus is known from three almost nearly complete fossils that show a progressive growth cycle, that being the fossils were of a juvenile, a subadult, and an adult. Found on these was direct evidence of feather-like structures, aka dinofuzz, in the form of fossil imprints. They're actually quite long, almost 20 centimeters and very thin, making Eutyrhinus the largest known species of dinosaur with direct evidence of feathers, 40 times heavier than the previous record holder, Bipiasaurus. And before this big discovery, scientists have been guessing if some larger theropods, namely tyrannosaurs, could have had plumage of some sort, but Eutyrhinus is what sparked arguments and disputes between scientists, feather Nazis, and Jurassic Park fans alike. Suddenly everyone had varying opinions on fuzzy dinosaurs. Even Jurassic World took an odd stance with this when they decided to put feathers on their Tyrannosaurus during the Cretaceous sequence of Jurassic World Dominion. But as sad as it may be for some people, all this boils down to one simple fact. Two Tyrannosaurs have been discovered with dino fuzz and all of the others haven't. Some Tyrannosaurus had even been found with scale and skin and impressions from various parts of their bodies and people are still arguing in favor of feathered theropods. Now with that out of the way, we can get onto a different question. That being, why did Eutyrannus even have dino fuzz in the first place? Flight was out of the question for an animal the size of rhinoceros, so this brings us to the next possibility. It helped to get the ladies. And it probably helped to keep them warm too. Their environment was thought to have been an average of temperature of 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so an extra layer of coating definitely would have helped. Another interesting feature is that they had wavy crests running from their snouts to just before their eyes, which ended in a high pointed crest. This was probably used for display, as most crests are. And not only did Eutyrhinus raise arguments for over how Tyrannosaurs looked, but also how they behaved. Because the first three fossils of Eutyrhinus were found together, Many wondered if they were hunting in packs or if this was just a family group. This isn't the first time juvenile tyrannosaurs have been found with an adult though, meaning that this was most likely a family. Some paleontologists hypothesized that tyrannosaurs might have formed mixed groups, where the smaller and faster juveniles would scare prey towards the jaws of an adult tyrannosaur that was better able to make a kill. Eutyrannus is also thought to have lived among sauropods, which would have served as a good food source. It's also close to where Pacificosaurus have been found, which, if you remember, was the prehistoric animal of the month for August. Eutyrhinus is most widely recognized as being in the Ark Sorelli Evolved video game, and in the latest Lane Before Time film, but can also be seen in its documentary debut, Life on Earth, A New Prehistory. Alright, that's it for this year's first prehistoric animal of the month. I just want to thank you guys for being so patient with me. As I said before, I have plans for this channel, for sure, but more important matters are being dealt with beforehand. Love you guys, and as always, keep your pencils sharp.